Viola Davis, Emma Stone, Kerry Washington, Natalie Portman. There's going to be no shortage of great style of the Golden Globes on Sunday. Well, our fashion expert and author of Front Row, Louise Rowe, joins us now with her red carpet predictions. I love the Globes. They take some risk. But what trends do we think we're going to see? They're my favorite. And I also love this prediction part because if we're right, then we celebrate on Monday. And if yes. we're not, we just forget about <laughs> yeah. it. Totally. Um, so... Okay, trends, we're gonna see print. Print is not has not always been on the red carpet, uh -huh. and specifically, a lot of birds, aviary. Birds. Yeah, that was a huge and sort of Asian-inspired print that was big on the runway. High necks, which a little birdie told me you might be. I have a little bit of a high neck. I no, I don't have a neck, neck, but I'm going up. Yeah, so we so lots of very high, like higher than a halter neck. Lots of uh, things going on up here, whether it's ruffles or embellishment. Then like a Victorian. Yeah, a little right? bit, yeah. but some of them are more just like silk, and we'll see lots of ribbon chokers, that kind of thing. Lots going on up here. Uh, hip high slits. You know, we've been talking about oh, thigh yes. high. It's just got higher and higher and higher. I expect there to be some uh, fashion moments that people might want to forget if they're uh, if the wind blows. They better have say. a lot of tape mm -hmm. under Absolutely. there. All right, let's talk about some of the stars and what we would like to see them wearing because we know Emma Stone is a darling. She always looks amazing on the red carpet. Yes. So. Oh, we're um, going to start with Mandy Moore Mandy first, Moore, actually. who I love. And this is her first ever Golden Globes nomination for This Is Us. I've got a couple of pictures here of 2011 um, and 2010. She plays it safe. She's young, she's beautiful, she's got an incredible body, and these are very pretty dresses, but they're easier to wear than something that might have embellishment or a cutout or, like we said, a thigh-high slit. So I would love to see her in something completely out of the box, a Brandon Maxwell suit. This Ooh. was on the runway very recently. Uh, Lady Gaga's stylist and best friend, Brandon Maxwell. It's plunging, it's sexy. You couldn't do this at the Oscars because it's not quite formal enough, but you could do this at the Globes. I showed it to her yesterday. She liked it, so you'll get did kudos she? right there. Yes. Oh, okay. uh, Chrissy Metz wore pattern before. She did. Do you think this will be a good look for her for this award show? I think she will go for print. I've actually picked out a beautiful Carolina Herrera uh, gingham dress dress, which is black and white check. It's gorgeous. It's got some detail on the shoulder. Oh, and I'd like love to that. see her in something like that, cinch in the waist and wear a beautiful A-line skirt. Um, it, it's not overbearing, but I think it's elegant and right. fine. Okay, Gina Rodriguez, okay. third time nominated for Jane the Virgin. Third time, Always she's killing it. Beautiful. She does. And she loves that very uh, traditional silver screen vibe. So whether mm -hmm. it's here, you've got a couple of examples of the detail off the shoulder or black and strapless with that sweet heart neckline where it dips down in the middle. Mm -hmm. Love that, but again, perhaps a bit old for her. And I'd love to see something a bit sexier and a cutout. So I did go a bit nuts, and I've picked Ooh, this. Yes. Wow. And she's got a beautiful, curvaceous body. She has, she and this beautiful this. skin tone, beautiful hair. Um, this is Julian McDonald, and someone's going to wear this. I He's very popular that. at the moment. Oh, so I'm rethinking my look. Not from uh, <laughs> Natalie Portman. I mean, all eyes on Natalie. She's very pregnant. She won't say how pregnant, but we all think she might be giving birth next month. So <laughs> this is the time where you really have to think about your dress. She's been wearing a lot of Dior lately, so it could be Dior, but I did actually uh, pick out this beautiful white Brandon Maxwell dress, which has got this high neck. Ooh. When you're pregnant, you do have to divert the attention somewhere. So uh -huh. I think if you want to, to have some detail around the neckline, uh, even on the sleeves, and I think my tip is embrace the bump, you know, have a little bit of silhouette and shape to it. So yeah. I'll be really interested to see what she wears. She always looks Me amazing. Too. She pregnant. does. All right. And she won last time she was pregnant. She so did. this is a good luck charm. I know. OK, so let's look at Emma Stone now for La La Land. It's she be mixes it night. up. She... I always love her. I love the pants. She took risks. Yes. That was great. You guys have nailed it, right? You can never predict what Emma Stone's going to wear. And on the right, that peach Calvin Klein dress is one of my, my favorite, favorite looks of the she's ever hair. done. It was oh. blonde, she was tanned, and it was very simple. Um, so for Emma, you can't really predict. This is me backing myself that I haven't got a clue. But <laughs> I'd love to see her in this Monique Lulier gown, right? It's a dusty pink. Ooh. It's one of Monique's favorite looks that she's ever done. She drew from previous uh, collections in order to put this together. And it's so La La Land. I it think sometimes is. when a character embodies their, the, the role that they're nominated for on the red carpet, I love that because they bring it to life.